Welcome back, Simplifiers, to our Organizing ABCs, where today we're going to discuss O is for overwhelming. Clutter is overwhelming. Ep, bep, 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 bep. Don't try to tell me you can't be artistic or it's okay, you know where everything is. I won't buy it. Whether it's the physical clutter of toys out everywhere in your home or a closet that's bursting at the seams or a kitchen counter filled with appliances because you don't have anywhere to put it or the digital clutter of ding, I have another notification or ding, I have another notification. Study after study has shown that when you're surrounded with clutter, you are less productive and typically have a lot more stress in your life. So what do you do with all of this overwhelming clutter that surrounds you? Today, I have five ideas that I hope that you can incorporate into your life that will help you combat that overwhelming feeling you get when you are surrounded by clutter. First, break your project down into smaller, more manageable pieces. In G is for goal setting, which you can watch right here, we talked about breaking your project down into smaller, more manageable pieces so that you can feel more accomplished and driven to finish the project, but also so that it doesn't seem so, eh, buzzword, overwhelming when you're trying to do it all. The second is to create a plan. And here you can watch A is for attack plan. Don't just dive into that closet or toy room or kitchen without having an end goal. By having a goal and seeing what steps need to be done in order for you to finish the project, the process becomes less ding, 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 overwhelming because it's smaller, more manageable pieces again. Number three is ask for help don't feel like you need to go on this decluttering journey alone. Whether it's asking a friend or a family member to come in and help you, or maybe even just watch your kids while you go through your toy room or go through your closet. Asking for help, no matter who it is, is going to help the process move along more smoothly. Now, if you don't feel comfortable asking a family member or friend to help out, perhaps you want to look for the expertise of a professional. In that case, I recommend looking at the website of the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals, or NAPO for short. When you go to napo.net, you will be able to look for organizers that are in your area and be able to see what sort of expertise they have, whether it's for business organizing or residential home organizing. Some people specialize in closets or kitchens or basements or garage. There is definitely somebody that's out there that can help you with this process, whether it's a friend or a family member or a hired professional. For me personally, I like to bring in my mom because A, she's totally my organizing inspiration and guru, and B, she likes to watch my kids for me. The fourth suggestion I have as you are tackling your clutter projects is to congratulate yourself for all of the little victories that you have. Sometimes when you're working on a really big project, it's hard to see the progress that you're making. I highly recommend taking a before picture when you start a project so that you can really see the progress as you're moving along. When you can see how far you've come in the organizing process, it can really be encouraging and motivating to push you forward to finish that organizing project in your home. And finally, I recommend that you breathe. Yes, it is going to be very stressful when you start to tackle the clutter in your home. That's why we're talking about things being overwhelming. So when it starts to be too much, stop, count to 10, take a walk, call it quits for the day and start up again tomorrow. Remember that not everything has to be done all at once. And a lot of times those small incremental changes are going to be what sets you up for success in the future. So <sighs> breathe when it starts to become too much. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter in your home? If there's any way that I can help, please comment below or check out my email address, which is in the description, if you want to talk to me more privately. I work with people on a regular basis to overcome all the clutter in their home and to start living a more simple, organized life. And I want to help you too. And be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my organizing ABCs. And stop back by tomorrow when we'll talk about P is for put it away.